Hi everybody, I'm Jen Cassetta. I'm going to share a quick story with you today about why I gave up meat about 15 years ago. And by no means is this to sway you in any direction. I'm not telling you that everyone needs to be a vegan, everybody needs to be a vegetarian. Absolutely not. Um, but perhaps that maybe one of you or two or maybe more may be inspired by this story to perhaps cut back on your meat consumption. Because if you do, you'll reap the benefits that I'll talk about at the end of the video. So, it was right after college and my dog, Duchess, was 12 years old. Duchess was the sweetest dog ever. She definitely was abused as a little puppy because we um, adopted her from the North Shore Animal League and all she would do is like cower even if you raised your voice. Anyway, she's 12 at the time. And one day I got a call from my dad. She was living with my parents upstate New York. And um, he said, Jen, I know you're coming home this weekend. I just want you to be prepared that Duchess is really, really sick. So I said, okay. Um, I didn't know how bad. So I went home. And the first thing I did was go to check on Duchess. And she got so excited to see me that she tried to like run over to me. And she couldn't even run. She could barely walk. Her tail had no more fur on it. Her eyes were sunken in. It was so devastating. So I said, Dad, what, what happened? What did the vet say? And he said, well, they mentioned something about it could be some kind of cancer. And I thought, dogs can get cancer? That's so weird. I never even thought about that. So if dogs can get cancer, so could chickens and cows and all of the other things that are on my plate from time to time, right? And I didn't give it, give it much thought at the moment, and I just said, okay, well, we're going to put her down and say goodbye. And in honor of Duchess, for one week, I'm going to avoid all animal products. I'm not going to eat any animals for seven days because animals are all friends, and I didn't want to eat her friends. So um, fast forward to my aha moment when I'm in the, at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition in New York City, and this is in 2005, and I'm listening to Joshua Rosenthal tell a story of one of his students who used to be married or was married to a butcher. And she told the story that she was in the butcher shop and she was looking up at one of the carcasses and she said, honey, what's that like green slimy stuff on the carcass, the cow? And he looked up at her and he's like, oh, yeah, well, that's just like cancerous cells. We just cut it off and sell it anyway. And it was like, ah, uh, ha, 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 I wasn't crazy. We are probably, at, from time to time, eating cancerous flesh from animals. Like, that's really gross. Um, whether they cut it off or not, you're still eating sick animals. So anyway, that really really stuck with me and I hadn't been eating meat this whole time but now I really started to dig into the research and watch movies like Meet Your Meat. Ugh, gross. If you really do want to be completely turned the other way, watch a movie like that. Food Inc. is like kindergarten compared to Meet Your Meat and what you'll find out about the factory farm industry. Not only just how um, animals are treated but also why that kind of um, why that or how that can benefit how that can negatively affect our our health so anyway uh, I stuck to a vegetarian diet for a few more years later on I introduced a little bit of fish into my diet so technically th these days I'm a pescatarian so I eat a little bit of fish I eat eggs I eat cheese from time to time I'm not super strict uh, when it comes to that but I do know that there are major benefits to reducing your meat intake and your animal protein intake. One is just digestion. Meat and animal protein takes so much of your energy to actually digest. That's one. Two, inflammation levels. So we are, we are in a country that is dying of heart disease. Heart disease is our number one killer and inflammation is pretty much the underlying cause of all this disease. And Factory farmed animals, because they're not eating their natural diet, they're eating soy and corn pellets instead, 
the fat in them, in their bodies, is no longer high in omega-3 fatty acids. Those are the anti-inflammatory fats. So now it's much higher in omega-6 fatty acids, which are pro-inflammatory. Got it? So we're eating too much of that. Sec uh, third reason, antibiotics. They're pumped full of antibiotics, which then affects our immune system down the line. And the fourth reason is growth hormones. Factory farm animals are pumped, fill, pumped full of growth hormones so they can get bigger, fatter, and feed more people. But honestly, this country, we're not dying of starvation here. So we don't need all of these animals killed every single year for food. We can shift to a more plant-based diet. And if you're interested in doing that, just trying, there's a few ways. First, just try Meatless Mondays. Just go vegetarian one day a week. That would be huge for your body, for your health, and for the planet as well. Not to mention all the environment, environmental benefits that go along from a plant-based diet. We'll do that in, a, in another video. You can actually just try to go plant-based for, say, 7 to 21 days. 21 days to make a habit, right? So if you'd like to try that, I can actually help you. I've created a 21-day vegan meal plan, so it's all plant-based. There's plenty of protein in there, so don't worry about getting your protein. And it's delicious meals. There's a calendar. There's shopping lists. Everything you need to follow along for you to just go plant-based for three weeks. Try it. See if you like it. It may develop into a habit or not, and that's okay but at least you gave your body that three weeks as a break. Think of it like a cleanse. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Again, please follow along, uh, subscribe to this channel if you'd like more tips on being strong, safe, and sexy. And you can find my meal plans at jennifercassetta.com and also in the link below. Have an awesome day.